What up, gang? It's your boy Zap back with another banger. Hey, today I really want to get into genotype versus phenotype a little bit in depth so that we can give a good understanding and a strong foundation for more to come. Let's get right into it. Get it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, you hear me? Yeah, you know it. Turn up the leaf blower in the long All right, gang. So genotype refers to a set of genes that an organism can pass on to its offspring. Uh, when we think in terms of genotype, you'll always see a genotype identified in letters. Sometimes you see a big P, little P, little P, little P, and big P, big P right those are the combinations that can happen right and it's our job to kind of determine or predict what the outcome uh, or, or the ratios of those genotypes and phenotypes would be right so um when we think of big p little p heterozygous big p big p homozygous dominant little p little p homozygous recessive right we always remember that each parent offers two alleles these alleles are split when a gamete is formed and when they split just like mendel's law of independent assortment they are divided they're separate so each parent has two alleles one can be one thing one can be another or they both can be the same so let's take dad right is offering up a set of blue eyes and a set of brown eyes those are two alleles that he's offering up to his offspring mom on the other hand is offering a set of blue eyes and also another set of blue eyes in this case it's gonna be and we already know that blue eyes are a recessive trait so in this case the blue eyes for mom are homozygous because she's offering two independent alleles that are identical while dad is offering a set of brown and a set of blue which makes his uh, genotype heterozygous all right, and heterozygous is always going to be two alleles that are not the same. All right, homozygous being two alleles that are the same, and it, we can help it make sense when we think of uh, a man or woman that decides to, you know, uh, pursue the same. If a man pursued a man, that's homo. Uh, if a man pursued a woman, that's hetero. So you can think of when it's the same, it's homozygous. When it's different, it's heterozygous. Phenotype. And I, we hear phenotype so much. Um, and I think that is because it's just that simple. Phenotype is the physical expression of those genes, right? And the fact that we can actually see what we are referencing, right? You get what you see. And that is the uh, expression of those genes, the physical makeup. So um, whatever expresses itself. If you as the offspring ended up to have blue eyes, then your phenotype would be blue eyes because um, that is uh, what options were at play when we think in terms of the genotype there was brown and there was blue the genotype is a set of genes in our dna responsible for a particular trait while the phenotype simply just the physical expression and the makeup of those genes and and it's really that simple but i want to get a little further into dominant and recessive to drive it all home 
a dominant trait is one that's going to appear and express itself in the offspring if uh, the parents offer it and a dominant trait is always represented by a capital letter this is why the punnett square is so important and i saw somebody in one of the previous videos try to downplay punnett square oh you still use a punnett square because i'm a professional and don't get it twisted um a simple mono hybrid cross yeah a four punnett square but a recessive trait is one that's actually hidden recessive traits are hidden and they're masked they're covered up by dominant traits so whenever you have a dominant and a recessive allele together, the dominant will always express itself. The only way a recessive trait will express itself is if it has two copies of the same, meaning it has to be a little p and a little p next to each other for you ever to see a recessive trait exposed. Other than that, you will have a big P, big P, which is dominant homozygous, little P, big P, which is heterozygous, and then little P, little P, which will express itself that recessive trait. A monohybrid cross is a cross between two individuals that are focusing um, just on one gene in, or in trait. You know, that's that's when we think in terms of a four box pun and square. That's uh, simply a monohybrid one gene it can get way it doesn't stop it's infinite so um the next level would be a dihybrid 16 box okay so you can um look at multiple genes and traits at once okay and it goes up 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 it, it doesn't stop so hundreds and hundreds of boxes if you need to look at hundreds of traits at once because you're so that you're, that, you're just that advanced <laughs> it's available to you i guess you didn't know that though so you you were just trying to downplay the small four box pun and square but that is just a mono hybrid a dihybrid cross is uh, a, a cross that focuses on two genes uh, or more all right, gang, make sure you visit ZazaGenetics.com, man. We got some coupon codes that's still lit. Um, if you want some fire gear, uh, shout out to my brother Pigeons. Y'all make sure y'all go check out Pigeons' video, man, on the top genetics list for the summer, man. Um, we gracefully made that list. I'm truly humble. It was some a prestigious list uh, by a true connoisseur. So thank you, my brother. I appreciate you and everything that CLTV does. Y'all make sure y'all visit ACinfinity.com. The best equipment in the land, man, hands down. And use code Team Zaza for a discount at checkout. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, man. We are a newer channel. And um, if you're a recurring viewer but haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. It really helps out, man. And that's all we really ask for. You can also um, join the team through the subscription YouTube subscription Team Zaza list. So uh, other than that, catch me in the Discord. I'm usually pulling up by 9 p.m. So uh, we're looking for some new, fresh minds in Team Zaza so we can um, implant some more uh, real breeders in this community, man. Much love to y'all. I appreciate all the support. I appreciate all the comments. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments. We got some interviews coming up. Um, in the next couple weeks so stay tuned for those and um other than that i'll catch y'all on the next banger i'm out Kick.